guys, Blossom Kitty 2000 here, and today I'm just making uh, Animal Dream Skit, so like, comment, and subscribe if you want to see more of these. Thanks. Ah, this is the best part. I know, right? The Shark Man is about to kill the Fin Man, and then they're going to collide and make and be partners. I've watched this season about three times, I think. This scene is so awesome, it's going to gonna be awesome. Ah, those kids and their gadgets. <sighs> Dad, can you try to be quiet? I'm trying to work, and the kids are trying to watch TV. It's good for their brains. Oh, this family. Oh, you kids, you must have a story. I have a story that's just right for you. Now come, come over here. I'll tell you the story. Come, turn off that dang TV. Oh, but Grandpa. Oh, fine. I guess I could use the story. I'm kind of bored today. Okay, be quiet. The story is about to start. Once there was a very young me. I know I look like a pig, but I was a sloth, a baby sloth back then. Yes. And then we have my parents. Joel, he is a very nice dad. And Mary. Yes, I always liked those two parents. But we also had some problems, too. We had a little fox, hamster, and snake problem. And we didn't have food like hamburgers and ice cream. And we also had wooden floors and no wallpaper. We had no food, so we had to make out what we had. We would make from metal we found into bread. It helped make bread. And my dad helped me make a ivy chair made out of wood and ivy strung together with ivy and we also took fabric to make beds such as hammocks more like cosmos hammocks so we could sit down but we didn't have books or anything else to do we could play with a stick and an ant and to so solve our little animal trouble we put a big pet tree for pests oh boy did they love it there was all sorts of things for them to play with. A tire, a hamster wheel, and a chair, and a palm tree, and this handy little door. I used to step on the hamsters for some reason. I don't know why. But for some reason, that fox wouldn't go away. It was like it had a curse on it. No, not a curse, but it was an evil fox. Nobody liked evil foxes. So then my dad and my mom ran away because they didn't like it. Bye, son. We don't like the fox. Bye. So then I was very sad. I was very, very, very sad. I was so sad I fell asleep and then that dreaded evil fox put a curse on me. And then I turned into a get ready for a plot twist. A sloth. And this is where I stand right now. To come to think of it, I remember this is the location of my cottage. And this is my ivy chair with the wooden chair and the ivy. Oh no. What is it, Grandpa? Is that really boring but adventurous story over yet? Come to think of it, I think the fox was... Oh no. Oh no, this is not good. Well, goodbye. I will never see you again. I enjoyed my stay over here, but I think it's time to end. End. I'm not coming back here ever. Uh, Mom? Not right now, kids. I'm in the middle of a computer session. So please do not bother me like your grandfather did. <coughs> Thanks, guys, for watching this kind of weird skit. I'd like to do these a lot more often, so yeah. Please uh, like it if you liked it, and yeah.